Now we'll practice a calf stretch in Uttanasana. So have two blocks ready and start to roll up your blanket. So make a nice even blanket roll here, a tight roll. And place the blanket roll onto the sticky mat horizontally as you see here. And then with your feet hip distance apart, step the balls of the feet up onto the blanket roll. So the heels are grounded on the sticky mat and the balls of the feet and the toes are up, they're elevated. And then take your hands to your outer hips, shoulders back, long spine. And then bend your knees and crease at the hips to fold, taking your rib cage close to your thighs at first. And just rest in a forward bend here. Now hands on blocks, folding deeply. And you can play with how much you bend your knees. So straighter legs will give you a different stretch than bent knees. And both are good. So play with that here. And take many breaths here to breathe into and stretch different fascial lines in the calves and the backs of the knees. Bending the knees a little more or a little less. And then breathing into whatever position you choose. And if your hands reach the floor, then you can place the blocks to the side. And come forward a little more onto your hands, taking the weight forward. That will deepen the stretch. Walking those hands or fingers a little bit further forward. Pull the inner heels down, grounding the center heels down. Steady breath here, breathing into the sensations that arise. Long spine here. And then hands to hips. Shoulders back, reach your chest forward to come all the way up. And then step off the blanket. Now we'll practice Parshvottanasana. So have your two blocks ready. And step your right foot forward and left foot back. So your feet are hips width apart. Square your hips by pulling your right hip back and left hip forward. And then press your feet down and draw up through the musculature of the legs to extend and straighten the legs fully. Lift the low belly, shoulders back. Lengthen the upper side ribs. Lift the collarbones and look up with strong legs. And then exhale and keep your spine very long as you hinge at the hips and fold forward, taking your hands to blocks. Ground the back quadricep back towards the hamstring and then press the front big toe mound down and draw up through the musculature of the front of that right thigh. Pull the right hip back and gather the outer right hip back and in towards the midline of the body. And now slide the low belly a little bit to the right so that you square your trunk directly over that front leg, starting with the very low belly coming to face that right thigh. And then you're going to start to fold even deeper, sliding the blocks forward, elongating through the armpits, and then release the nose towards the shin. Outer right hip is pulling back and in. Hips are square. Back thigh is firm. Ground the back heel down. Ground the front big toe mound down and make your legs taller. And then walk the blocks back so the blocks frame the front foot, stretching the chest forward. Take your hands to hips and stand on up. Firm legs. Shoulders back. And then switch sides. 
Now stepping the left foot forward and the right foot back. And have your feet hips width apart. Ground through the feet and draw up through the musculature of the legs and pull the left hip back and right hip forward. Ascend up through the central axis of the body and take your shoulders back. Lift the collarbones and lift the chin as you inhale. And then exhale, hinge at the hips and take your hands down to the blocks. And then start to slide your belly to the left as you gather the outer left hip in so that you can align the midline of your trunk with the midline of the left leg. Ground the back heel, ground the front big toe mound, and draw up through the front of that left leg to square the hips even more. And let the abdomen recede towards the spine and lengthen forwards to help you lengthen the front ribs forward to open the chest. Breathing here. And then start to slide the blocks forwards. Still pulling the outer left hip back. Grounding the right thigh back, firm in the front thigh, elongating the trunk over that front leg. Stretch long through the armpit, stretch long through the front of the spine. And then walk the hands back with those blocks, stretch the chest forward, take hands to hips, and lift all the way up. And then step your feet together and release your arms by your sides. Have two folded blankets now for a wonderful open twist Marichiasana variation. So stack your blankets and sit on the edge of your blankets, as you see here. And set yourself up so that you're really sitting on the front edge of the sitting bones. Extend your left leg forward and bring your right foot to the outside of your right sitting bone so that your right leg is basically in a squat. And then bring the right elbow to the inner right knee and take a twist to the left. And now reach your right elbow down, reach your right shin bone down, reach the left thigh bone down, and go up with the inner trunk. Ascend the spine from bottom to top and twist to the left as you press your right elbow into the right inner knee. So press that right arm into the knee to help you turn the rib cage to the left. And now you'll reach forward with the right arm and grab onto the outer left foot using the left hand near the outer left shin to help support you and take a forward bend here. Let the rib cage flow forward towards the left foot. and then release yourself out of this forward bend and get ready to switch sides. So extend your right leg forward and bend your left knee deeply so that your left heel is just outside the left sitting bone, a little wider than the sitting bone. And then take the left elbow into the left inner knee and a twist to the right. So your right hand comes onto the blankets behind you. Go down with the left elbow as you go up with the left ribs. Go down with the right thigh bone as you lift the low belly. Go down with the left shin bone as you lift the spine from bottom to top and then press your elbow into the left inner knee and turn to the right. Turn the belly and the rib cage. Breathing here as you deepen the twist. 
and then come out of the twist and elongate the left arm forward to grab the outer right foot. Use the right hand on the floor outside your right shin to support you and take a forward bend here. Let the left ribs and the right ribs flow forward. And then come on up out of the pose. Now we'll practice Paschimottanasana. So sit down on your butt with your legs extended out in front of you and pull the sitting flesh back so that you can sit on the center of the sitting bones and even towards the front half of the sitting bones. And start in Dandasana, hands grounded, shoulders back, long spine, collarbones wide, tops of the thighs very grounded, feet open. And then hinge at the hips to fold forward and grab onto the outer edges of the feet. You can interlace your hands around the balls of the feet. Lift the elbows and elongate the trunk forward. Extend the knees fully. Think of pulling the femurs back into the hips. Stretch open the backs of the knees and ground down through the tops of the thighs. Soften the belly and let the belly recede towards the spine and lengthen. So lengthen out the front of your trunk as much as the back. And let there be this gentle rounding in the back, a child's pose-like curve. Breathing deeply here, breathing into the back body. And come all the way up to sit. Now we'll practice a supported fish with a bolster underneath the rib cage and have a strap nearby for your hands. So lay back so the bolster supports you underneath your thoracic spine. Release the flesh of the buttocks away from the lower back, away from the back ribs. Knees bent and feet flat to support you, and then grab your strap and reach your arms up and overhead, hands holding the strap at shoulder distance apart. Enjoy this nice extension of the spine as you lengthen through the front of the spine and lengthen the abdomen, and then extend your legs. Stretch the legs and stretch the arms. Allow yourself to be supported by the bolster here. Become internally absorbed here. As you relax and release and gently guide yourself to lengthen a little more. Smooth and steady inhalation and a steady exhalation. And then bend your knees one at a time, place your feet flat, and roll to your side. Pass through your side to come out of the pose, coming on up to sit.